Today we're going to talk about colors. But before then, let's switch things up. Now this looks better. Choosing colors is one of the most difficult things to do as a beginner in the design process. So here are some guides on how to choose colors for your next project and this is coming up. Hi everybody Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Color is one of the most important aspects of design because it is normally what a person's eye is drawn to and what a person notices first on every design. Color has the ability to strike emotion in the client or the person. Now in choosing colors, one of the few things that you need to do as a beginner is to try to understand the basics of colors. I mean, the basic meanings of colors. For instance, what will come to mind if you see a design with this color? Okay, what about this color? And this? Great. So you understand that for every color that popped up over here, you had a particular thing that came in mind first. For instance, the red color, the first thing that will come to mind probably is danger love or affection something about romance you thought of probably valentine's day yes that is because the color red is known for these things so as a beginner you need to read and understand some of these basic color meanings the thing is you don't really have to worry too much you can go to google and then just type meanings of colors and then you are going to have almost all of them pop up for you to study and you don't have to keep all of them in your mind because Google is your friend, so you can resort to Google anytime. But there are some basic ones that you can keep in mind. For instance, black signifies elegance, excellence, mastery, evil, death, and so many things. And you can also think of red as romance, love, valentines, and you can add up. Okay. Also, you think of yellow as joy, intellect, and then positivity. So these are some basic ones that you can keep in mind but for colors like lavender for colors like maroon for colors like turquoise for colors like burgundy for colors like coral you don't really have to put all of them at the back of your mind you can resort to google for some of these things or better still if you don't always have internet but you can write them somewhere so that you don't forget now in choosing colors for your project or in choosing colors for your next design i want you to think about these basic guides that i'm about giving you the first thing is what emotion do you want to evoke in your design this will help you to choose what is known as the dominant color in basic terms the dominant color is the color that is found all over your design your dominant color should be in alignment with your design theme the emotions that you want to bring out to the people the message that you want to convey to the people so in choosing your dominant color you may consider things like the targeted audience their geography and then a couple of things like their societal beliefs and so many things this will help you convey the right message to the people so in this video for instance we are going to choose a dominant color of say brown and then we are going to use it to create the color process after you found your dominant color you can use this dominant color to create what is called a palette simply put a palette is a range of colors so you want to find colors that complement the dominant color that you just chose thanks to the internet you don't even have to worry yourself about figuring out this yourself as you can use so many websites to create this palette for yourself among these websites includes my space chroma.co colors.co and so many of them that i'll leave links in the description so what you're going to do is that you're going to go to any of these websites and then you're going to put in your dominant color that you chose in our instance we chose brown so you are going to put in the color brown into any of these websites and then it is going to generate palette of colors for you some websites will start from two palettes others will start from three and that tells you that in the basic rule of thumb you should use about two to three colors in your design now i explained earlier that color is one of the few things that people's eyes are drawn to so if you use so many colors in your design you tend to shift the attention from the message to the colors especially if you are designed for kids or people that are attracted to colors more than let's say the message itself so these websites are going to create the palette for you and then you are going to choose now it is very important to choose about three colors for your design 
simply because of the next rule that we are going to talk about so in case you are going to choose three colors you are going to need what is called the dominant color which is the color that you use to create the palette complementary or secondary color and what is known as the accent color that is if you want to use three colors but in case you want to go further and use about five colors you are going to need the dominant the secondary or complementary the accent the dark and the light but in most cases we use the dark and the light in some of the ways like the font how we make the font appear and even in the background so three colors should be enough now after you've created your palette you then go ahead and apply your colors how do you effectively apply your colors sometimes it is very difficult some people actually think of the fact that it has to be repeating like you put one color here one color there just use it anyhow but there is a very simple rule that allows you to distribute your colors very nicely and this is known as the 60 30 10 rule this law states that 60 percent of your color should be the dominant color so in flyer design for instance you can use 60 percent of your color for the dominant as the background and then the 30 percent is going to be your secondary or your complementary color this is going to be the color that you're going to use to create emphasis so you can use it for your title your headings your actual message your topic your theme something like that and then the 10 percent is going to be the accent this is what you're going to use to create the call to actions so for more info contact subscribe to you understand these are going to be you can use the accent color to create something like that these three colors that you choose can be interchanged as and when needed for instance if you are creating a brochure the cover page can use the dominant color let's say in our instance the brown so the dominant color can be brown for the cover page and then the rest of the colors will be the secondary and then the accent but then when you flip the page inside you can interchange these colors so for instance if you are choosing brown white and chocolate you can reverse these colors so that the white will be the dominant color and then you can apply the brown and the other color onto it as well now here is a bonus tip when you are starting out you may actually not have a fair idea of how this whole thing works out so you can resort to very popular brands because these people actually invest in people to choose colors for them so in most cases the top brands they they have the very nice colors so if you have no idea on how any of these would work and if you don't want to stress yourself you may actually want to resort to some of these brands some of these football logos some of these big big brands logos because they have some cool colors that you can use as well also you can check out designs on some popular platforms like Behance, pinterest dribble and so many things because there are some top-notch designers that create some awesome designs and then you can pick ideas from it by doing this and as you progress you can ultimately find your way in choosing colors using these principles that i just gave to you but don't forget you can get so many design inspiration from almost anywhere like the painting of a building an interior design colors on a website or even the colors from a magazine that you are reading you just need to be open up to creativity so that you can find some of these things i hope these guides were helpful let me know in the comment section if it was and let me know also how you choose your colors for your designs thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye